This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course, Lesson 17, and part of Course D, where it is Lesson 14. If else with B. Puzzle 2. The cloud is blocking the view. There could be a flower under this cloud. If there is a flower, the bee will need to collect the nectar once. If there is not a flower, the bee should do nothing. Take a good look at the code below. What do you think will happen after you click Run? As a teacher, I know that when you click something and then click Run, your answer gets submitted, right? So I can see my students' answers. Once they click on one and click Run, they're submitted to me, and you won't be able to change it. So let's think through this together, the code. When run, repeat three times, move forward. Okay, so I'm going to go forward once, hit the bottom of this, zoop, because it's a repeat. Run that again, so I'll move forward again, hit the bottom of this, zoop, and move forward a third time. Then, now once I've moved forward for the third time, I hit the bottom of this, and it goes, oh, no, you've moved, done this three times, and drops down to the next line. If at flower, okay, so if the bee at, is at a flower, uh, and if that's true, I'll run this code. But if it's not, I'll just drop and keep running. All right, so what will happen? The bee will move to the cloud and try to get the nectar no matter what. No, we only get the nectar if at flower. The bee will move to the cloud and only try to get the nectar if there is a flower underneath. Yeah, right? If at flower, then we get the nectar. I don't even need to look at the others. It's definitely that. Let's give it a shot. Oh, but there was no flower, was there? Regardless, woohoo! Let's keep going. 